Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Gods of War, and today I'm going to show you step 3 of the main easter egg for attack at the radioactive thing. So if you aren't caught up to here, I'll have a link in the description to the other two videos. But starting off, we are going to want to go to the Pack-a-Punch area. In this video, we are going to be collecting all of the zombie pieces as well as the mirror and the glass for this easter egg. So once you are in the pack a bunch area, hold square on this little button on the wall right here and then teleport out. This will teleport you inside of an RV and then on the back is a zombie's head. Hold square to pick that up. There are going to be a ton of zombie parts that we will be picking up in this video. Up next, all you want to do is melee one of the green glowing zombies with the meat cleaver and he will drop the leg. After that, you will need some sort of explosive weapon, whether that is C4, cluster grenades, any sort of explosive. You can use a pack and punch starting pistol. But this piece is going to be inside of this tree. This tree is right outside of Elvira's room. So it is on the top left side. You can't hit it if you throw the grenade at the ground. But if you throw it into the tree like this, you guys will notice the leg falls right out. All you have to do is hit it with that explosive. And then it will drop the leg, hold square to pick it up. And we will be able to move to the next one. For the rest of them, make sure that you have the crowbar melee weapon. And then head on over to the trailer park. The next piece is going to be located right inside of this fire. This is the zombie's arm. Hold square to pick that up. And then there's another piece in the trailer park as well. This is what you need the crowbar for. This is one of the steps with this melee weapon. There is a mirror in the bathroom. All you have to do is melee it. It'll drop a piece of glass that you will then be able to hold square to pick up. After that, we will be moving on over to the garage area. And there is a little piece right here that you will need to pick up for this next step. This activates a trap that we will be able to use inside of the market, the freezer. So head on into here with the piece and then on the back wall there's like a circuit breaker that you can hold square to replace and then this will enable the trap, the deep freeze trap. Hold square to turn on the trap for 750 points and then once the trap is done there will be pieces of meat hanging up that you can melee and you can pick up the torch. So you do need the crowbar for this though as well. After that head on over to the diner right outside of spawn and then right next to the skull hopper machine is a punch card that we will need to pick up. And then while we're here there is a blueprint right outside of this building that we will need to build for the next zombie part. So pick up the blueprint, bring it on over to the crafting table, then there's three parts that we will need to pick up for the seismic wave generator. The first one is on the bench right here. Go ahead and put that on the workbench. And then the next one is right outside of the diner on the back wall in the corner. Right here is the second piece location for the seismic wave generator. And then the third one, I'll show you guys in one second, just place that right there on the workbench. The final one is going to be located right over near these porta potties right there. So hold square to pick that up and then we will be building this piece of equipment and we will be needing it for the next zombie arm. So pick that up and then head on over to the beach area. Now be aware when you place this, this will kill all zombies nearby. So make sure that you are away from zombies if you're trying to hold on to just one for the round. But right where we picked up the power rod earlier if you place the seismic wave generator it is going to push the zombie's arm out of the ground so don't bring the zombie near there because it will die but after that piece of equipment has expired you'll be able to pick up the zombie's arm that was holding the power rod from earlier in this easter egg after that there will be a car that you can knife the mirror right off of right outside of the garage you will need the crowbar for that as well and then the final piece is going to be near elvira so whenever you have her stand up whenever she runs around the map there will be a mirror on the back couch make sure you do this the first time that she stands up so that you don't have to go around and collect the soul vials again with the knife melee kills for her to get up off the couch again if you have her laying here though you can just repeat the pack a punch process and then you'll be able to pick up the mirror and that will be all of the parts for step three i'll see you guys in the next video for step four very very soon peace